Welcome back to another episode of Sip Italian Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans. And today we're going to talk about our two-time MVP, Lamar Action Jackson. Now, we all thought that he would win the MVP, even though myself had a little tense moments leading up to the announcement, thinking that maybe he won't. But he did. And um, um, it was kind of bittersweet to, I think, well, to me, I can only speak for me. I felt like it was kind of bittersweet to Lamar, too. But what I wanted to do in this video is kind of, you know, listen to his comments from three different interviews after he won the MVP and kind of give you my read on what Lamar is projecting and uh, saying. And again, I'm no mind reader. This is just what I took from it, from from his uh, comments after the um, winning the award, because there wasn't this long, extravagant thank you speech. Um, it was short, quick, to the point, and it seemed to me that in his mind, this this award is good. This is not what I want. This award is good, and he, you know, with with his faith and being the the, the guy that he is, he's grateful for the award, and he, you know, he showed face and smiled and did the things he needed to do for, especially to pay homage to his teammates and. Show appreciation for everybody that voted for him, everybody except one person who was a clown. And um, but let's just take a listen to what he said and then we'll react to it that way. Uh first and foremost, you know, I want to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You know, without him, nothing is possible. Um, I want to thank my organization, you know, Baltimore Ravens, for you know finally getting this deal done. Um <laughs> <laughs> Um, shout out to Eric, you know, shout out to Steve, Coach Harbaugh, you know, the whole, the whole unit. My offense, man, my offensive line, man, I can't thank them enough for what they've done. Um, I'm not out there blocking, you know, catching the ball, you know, uh, doing everything, you know, as my team. It's a team thing, you know, for these awards. And, you know, I want to thank my fellow man at home. Um, but you guys have a great night, and that's all, folks. <laughs> and, and that was it for his MVP speech, probably one of the shortest ones ever, if not the shortest one ever. And um, he mentioned, you know, the Ravens organization for getting the deal done, which was a big concern at this time last year uh, throughout most of the summer until it got done. Uh, once that was done, that was a, a by the by the flock, the, the fan base, the team and the organization. Uh, but who thought who would have thought, you know, at the end of the season, he'd be holding the MVP trophy. Nobody probably did. I think we thought Super Bowl would have been more likely than MVP, but it goes to show you what the young man can do. And, you know, I put a tweet out earlier that we have a two-time MVP, and he haven't he hasn't even scratched the surface of how good he can be. I think he has a lot in his game that he can improve on. I think that um, he's gotten better each year. I think if he continues to get better, if he just makes a little bit more strides next year, he can be even more deadly. Uh, I don't think we've seen the best that Lamar Jackson can play. And this guy's won the MVP twice. Should be two-time unanimous. Should be. But I still, you know, in my soul, don't feel like we've seen the best version of Lamar Jackson yet. But that's 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 my two cents. We got another interview I want to, you know, listen to, and we can react to that here in just a second. All right, this next video on his next, I'm sorry, soundbite is from um, Lamar interview with, with Ryan Mink of the Baltimore Ravens um, organization. How are you feeling right now? Oh, uh, man, overwhelmed, you know, uh, excited. Um, everything that's positive. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. You, you take that stage and you're in rare air right now. There's not too many guys who have done what you've done. You're just the 11th player in NFL history to win. The 11th player in NFL history to win two or multiple MVPs. Um, I think everybody on that list has two with the exception of Jim Brown, and you can fact check me on that. I'm not sure how many Tom has. I'm not, I'm not sure. But I, I looked it up yesterday when I was looking for something. Jim Brown has four. And what was crazy when I was looking that stat up, not only did Jim Brown win MVP four times, he won rookie of the year 
and MVP in the same year. That that's crazy. Multiple MVP awards. What's the significance of that to you? Man, that's crazy. Um, man, that's it's an honor. I've been saying that all night, but it is an honor, you know, just to be be amongst the greatest, you know, the greatest of all time, you know, to do stuff like this is incredible. You know, I I never thought I'd be, you know, two time MVP. You know, if anything, I thought I would have been a Super Bowl winner. That's the first mention of Super Bowl, and that's the first first time that I was like, yeah, this this award's good, but he really wants to be playing Sunday. And that, that competitiveness, that's competitive fire, it still, it, it still burns a little bit, it's still stinging, which is one of the reasons why I think he didn't go to the Pro Bowl is because he just really wasn't ready to answer those questions about the game uh, from the, the week before quarterback by now you know but i just thank god for you know for whatever everything he's done for me and my family um but the sky's the limit you know the sky's the limit and i feel like i still have work to prove um work to work to prove improve on and, and stuff to prove to um the naysayers but i need the naysayers to keep going you know keep after and see and that's this is i don't think he has anything to prove to anybody and i know he uses the naysayers as like fuel to to push forward but it i mean and he won't take no advice from me i'm just a random guy but i would say to him just be the best version of yourself whatever the best version of you is be that don't listen to me don't listen to the naysayers don't you know whatever the best version of lamar jackson is be that and i guarantee you that's gonna be good enough because in my eyes you already gonna be gold jacket approved. You already gold jacket stamped in my eyes, and probably in most of the NFL eyes too. You're two time MVP. You you gold jacket stamped if if I'm not mistaken, because there's a lot lesser guys in the Hall of Fame already. So all you're missing is a Super Bowl, I, and you're the catalyst to get that. You there's nobody else in the NFL that can change the game the way he can, with the exception of Patty Mahomes. And I and I'll even go I'll even go a step further. That was another guy that probably should be on this list, but he keep turning the ball over too. I'm gonna go ahead and say Josh Allen probably could too, but Josh Allen just turns over too much. Those those three guys, and I, those three guys are different. They're different. Josh just Josh don't have it up here with the turnovers and just think just force the ball, but not want to get on that tangent. But those three guys can really affect the game in ways no other quarterback can in the NFL right now. But let's keep going with this interview. Give to that fight for me, for me to keep being Lamar Jackson. Yeah, the naysayers. Yeah. That's still something that's driving you. I mean, you've, you've, done, you've, you've done so much already, two MVPs mm -hmm. in your young career, but you're still driven by the naysayers. Yeah, I, I need them. I need them. Like, I, I just need them bad. <laughs> <laughs> Lamar, you said in your acceptance speech, you talked about your teammates and, and what they mean to you that you view this not just as an individual award, but it's a team award. Absolutely. You know, I'm not out there. I said it on stage, you know, I'm not out there just blocking. I'm dropping back, going through progression. I'm not the one blocking, you know. I'm not out, I'm not the one running routes, trying to get open off defenders who great defenders, you know. Um, my guys doing that, my tight ends, receivers, running backs, you know, and shout out to my O-line, you know. Those guys do, do a lot, you know. They can't go unnoticed with, with me just getting the MVP award. I think he's learned from past MVP winners, and the fact that he's just an overall humble individual that when you win these big time awards, even though it's your name on their award, you didn't get it by yourself. And granted, we know he does a lot for the team, probably a lot more than most. He, it's still a team thing. And he knows to, to mention those guys, will go a long ways for those guys playing hard with and for him. And I don't think it's just speak. I think he truly means what he's saying in these moments. I wish the whole team could be on stage, you know, because I felt like all of us was most viable players. Defense as well. Yeah, Lamar, you were just talking before we started this about how you, you wish you were here in Vegas for a different reason. Yeah. Is, is that something that is, is still, you know, I know you're the most competitive guy I think I've ever been around. Is that something that is still kind of fresh on your mind? It seems like it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. It is, you know, um, just, just because we work so hard, you know, um, it's a long season. And for you to get all the way to the door and no one's home, 
you know, like stuff like that. You knocking on the door, no one comes to answer. I mean, it's, it's like you took a cross country journey and you, you took the Amtrak, you took buses, you done hitchhiked and you get there and wherever your destination is and you, you bang on the door and it took you six, seven months to get there and you got all this build up, all this anticipation, bam, 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 bam. Nobody's there. And it's just a, it's a huge letdown. And that's what it feels like, you know, because we was right there and I feel like we just need to take it up a notch to, to be where we need to be. And once we in there, I feel like hey, we're gonna bring it home, you know, no doubt in my mind whatsoever. I don't care who in front of us, but we gotta get there first. And it's a game at a time, like I always say, you know, and keep the naysayers going, keep us being the underdogs, you know. But, yeah, but we gotta learn to, to we gotta without you guys, we gotta learn to to play as the hunt hunted though. I mentioned that during the season. We gotta learn to play as the hunted. Because you wanna play them the playoff games at home, but you gotta be good at home too. We ain't flocking. We're not rocking in the stadium, so we need y'all, man. <laughs> Last one, Lamar. It, you go. It's when I look at this year for you, it's it's pretty remarkable. You get the contract done. You win an MVP. You have this historic season. Could you kind of imagine that we would be here having this conversation, you know, a year ago? You know, and all that that ended up unfolding. It's just kind of remarkable that we're here in this position, and you're here in Baltimore long term. And this is the place where you're going to continue to do great things. To be um, Todd Monk can come in, you know, we getting pumped for the season. We got Odell Beckham, we got Nelson Aguilar, we got Zay Flowers, you know, we got all these new guys around and stuff like that. So I felt like we was going to do something special this season. Then we had that defense on the other side, you know, we got Roquan leading the defense, we got Patrick Queen, you know, we got Kyle Hamilton, those guys, uh, Marcus Williams, defensive line, you know, and I felt like it was going to be special. But I didn't think I would be MVP. I thought I would be on my way to the Super Bowl in Vegas, you know. But Damn. God had another plan, and I'm just gonna be grateful for it, you know. Um, and shout out to my teammate and Flock Nation, like I said. I I, I love how he relies on his faith and let his let lets his faith get him through difficult situations. That isn't talked about enough. It's not talked about enough. And I, I did have a third video, but the, the audio from that video is probably not loud enough for you guys to hear. So I'm not going to show it. But uh, it was like he was maybe a local station or whatever had got him and cornered them and had him speaking to a bunch of reporters on the stage. And he kind of just reiterated some of the same things he mentioned in his speech on stage and his speech where well, his interview with with Ryan Mink. So. um. Was that mean? That wasn't mean. But you have one of those guys, or I forget. They I get confused, both of them. <laughs> but this is just my two cents on, you know, what I think the comment, well, not his comments, what I thought his speech meant and his what he wanted to say without saying it, and what I took from it really is just my reaction to his his, his speech. And again, I'm ecstatic that he's won MVP for the second time, knowing that he can get so much more better. And I'm not this this is no way a diss or saying he needs to be better, or saying that he sucks, none of that. I love our quarterback. I think he's this close from being above and away the best player in the NFL. Like, little nuanced things that he will pick up and will take him through a different stratosphere. Again, two-time MVP, and he's nowhere close to what he could be as a thrower, a decision maker, and a overall field general. And none of that that I just said is a shade comment at all. I just know he could be better at it. And with Todd giving him the, the freedom to check and do different things at the line of scrimmage, he'll be that much more better at that next year. And he'll get them guys in the right plays in the right situations, having gone through it or gone through it this year. I guarantee you a lot of those situations that pop up next year, they'll be better for it next year. He'll get us in the right plays, make the right throws, or make the right runs, or make the right checks to a run, and we'll be better. The, the defense may go down, but I guarantee you our quarterback will be better. And I'm going to leave it on that. Peace, y'all.